Ah, uh, look at this backdrop. I love being in San Francisco. How about you, Gino? Well, I loved being in San Francisco. The reason we have <laughs> this up is because I just drove over that bridge. And you know what? One of the things is as we drove up the coast all the way from L.A. to Seattle, yes, long drive, uh, we realized that San Francisco is just such a cool place with a lot of history and just a good time. All right. So speaking of good times, we're glad you're joining us here on the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Gatlin and Gino Fronti, where you get your daily dose of real estate market updates. And let's talk about interest rates, because I know all you heard was is how interest rates have rot risen. It's so funny because you look at it, it's all perspective, right? Because they did rise, of course, but they've also settled back down. And you don't hear that they've settled back down. It's not attractive for the media to say they've slowly come back down to normal. Well, there's a confusion. <laughs> Let me clarify, because you have heard how rates have been increased by the Fed. Right. Confusing if you aren't paying attention to our show, because that's short-term interest rates. Basically, that controls credit card rates, auto loans, HELOCs, uh, equity loans in your home, and so forth. Long-term interest rates are controlled by actually mortgage-backed securities, and those have been improving. Let me tell you why. That's called the flattening of the yield curve. And the reason that happens is when you raise short-term interest rates, you're curbing inflation, which makes long-term bonds more valuable, therefore still attractive. So yeah. you know, it's a little more complicated, but as you raise short-term interest rates, how we've had a aggressive Fed, I'll call it. I think they're relatively yeah. moderately aggressive. Um, that actually gives bond investors some peace that their uh, bonds are still going to be worth something. All right, let's see what Freddie Mac says about interest rates. So here's the – this comes straight from Freddie Mac, the average interest rates across the country. Now, notice one thing here. You'll see 4.10 for a 30-year, for example, and you're like, well, my guy quoted me 4.125 or 4.25. Or 4.375 or even 5% because so many things go into your interest rate. That's true. This is based on 20% down, super high high FICO scores, and so forth. So this is just an average based on a very good scenario. Right. This is a well, nationwide average. Don. Right. And then notice fees and points. A lot of times we don't charge origination fees or points, but this one has a half a point to get you that interest rate. So be careful what you're reading because you look at a paper, that's another one. You look at lowest rates, you blame, and it may be as high as two and a quarter points. Yeah, or you walk into a bank. I've seen it multiple times where even I get excited. I'm like, oh, wow, that's a good rate. And then I look at the little small print, and I'm like, oh, yeah, of course. It's got two points on it. Or it's an arm. <laughs> <laughs> that, too. All right, so this is the standard rates right here across the nation and stuff. So here, here's basically a little commentary about this. But mortgage rates have fallen for the third consecutive week in a row. Nothing major, but they have improved. Yeah, and, you know, ultimately, we're still in the low fours, Don, which is fantastic historically. And, uh, and, you know, really almost in the same spot that we were last spring. So if you're wondering if the housing market's going to be good, wow, I could tell you it is smoking hot again mm -hmm. for 2017. And we're in it. We do loans for a living at Skyline Home Loans right here in Valencia, California. And we are seeing our applications higher than we've seen in years, actually. We're busier than ever, thank goodness. Thank you to our great team. But we are busier than ever. The market is hot. People want to get in homes. So don't be afraid to get into the housing market because you're waiting for the next bubble. We don't see it coming for a long time. There's more millennials out there than baby boomers, and they need homes. So that's a good sign for all of us that are getting in the housing market and a good sign for you. All right. So for more good signs every single day, text NREC to the number 58885 or check out our website, nrecafe.com.